In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an add authorization code to register for classes. For the purposes of registration, we recommend that you use the Google Chrome or Firefox web browser, as some functionality may be lost when using other web browsers. On the first scheduled meeting day of any course, you will be required to have an odd add authorization code or add code in order to register for a course. The add code can only be issued by the course instructor. Please contact the instructor for an add code and do not contact the admissions and records office to obtain an add code. Add codes are case sensitive and please be mindful of zeros and O's as they look similar. If you are on a course waitlist and the class has begun and you have not received a waitlist notification that a spot in the course has opened up, you will need to obtain an add code in order to register for the course. Please notice, add codes are not valid until the first scheduled day of instruction. You cannot use an add code to register prior to that date, even if issued by the instructor first. Log into your My Hancock student portal by clicking the My Hancock link in the upper right corner of the Allen Hancock College webpage. Enter your My Hancock username and password and click login. Hover over the class registration and schedule section. Next, click the link that says register add drop classes, then select add a class. On the next page, select the term that you want to register for. If this is your first time registering for this term, please complete the information review and survey questions. If you have previously registered, you will automatically be redirected to the registration page. Select Register for Classes. Select the term for registration and click Continue. Click the Enter CRNs tab and enter the CRN in the blank box. Click Add to Summary. You will then be asked for the add authorization code and enter it in the space provided. Click confirm. So click the submit button to register into the course. You will now see that the status has changed from pending to registered. If you are currently on the waitlist for a course, locate your waitlisted course in the summary panel. Please make a note of the five digit CRN as it will be used in the next step. Click on the down arrow in the action drop down menu and choose drop before class begins or remove from waitlist whichever option it gives you and then click the submit button. If the course is not immediately removed from the summary panel as in this example, click the refresh button on your browser to remove the course from the summary. Once you verified that the course is no longer in the summary panel, click the enter CRNs tab and enter the CRN for the course that you just removed yourself from the waitlist from. Click Add to Summary, and then you will be asked to enter the Add Authorization Code. Click Confirm. The course will now be re-added to the summary panel in a pending status with registered via web as the action, and then click Submit in the summary panel. 
you will now see that the course is now in a registered status. Pay your fees by returning to the portal homepage and clicking the Pay Your Fees in the Student Account section. And if you need additional assistance, please contact the Admissions and Records Office. Thank you.